Mm. Amen. Now, when the Bible tells us about the restoration ministry that produced the ministry of William Abraham, the seventh angel message, and that is the move of God that we are part of in this church. It is to restore back the church, back to the apostolic faith. At least in church, that Christianity has gone into so much error that every God has raised us to correct some of these errors, including errors in the followings of this entire message. And as time goes on, and so many people are angry, so many, we are receiving so much response from the two camps, those that are receiving liberation, those that are receiving liberation from hearing the truth, and some that are angry because they have been exposed. But we will never, nothing will stop us from saying the truth. And so, every time there is opportunity to let the people know the truth about every uh, thing about the Christian faith, we will do it. That's why during the Christmas period, you 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 heard us through the bright television. We aired a teaching on the birth of Jesus Christ. What Christmas is all about, and we try to establish scripturally that the celebration of Christmas. Christmas is not a Christian celebration. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not at all. It's not. Hallelujah. Now we are entering the new year. There is another error we must correct. It is the error of the first fruit offering. First fruit. We are pastors teach that all your income that you receive in January, you should bring everything to the pastor or to the church. It is wrong. It is wrong. Thousands of people are gathering now. Millions of people are watching our broadcast all around the world. Listen, that teaching is wrong. Look, it's, when you come to a church like this, some of you, God will help you to know where you are. The average denominational church pastor, preacher, looks for scripture that can make them have money. Now, now, do you think we don't want money? We want money. We need money. We are building. Praise the Lord. You can imagine thousands of members of this church. They all your income for January or your first income for this year. Bring everything to the church. Oh, we will not raise offering again now. We will not raise offering for anything again. That is wrong, oh. There is no teaching like that in the Bible, oh. The first fruit is not everything, oh. It's not your all your income for the first uh, for the first month of the, the year. Oh. Nothing in the scripture substantiates that. And to even start with, it is an ordinance in the Old Testament that is speaking of something spiritual in the New Testament. But we also know that there are principles even in the Old Testament that can still be followed even in the New Testament despite what it means spiritually. Now what is the first fruit? Let's look at it. Leviticus chapter 23. Amen. Before Leviticus, he first spoke about it in Exodus. Exodus chapter 34. It's a commandment. Are we there? Verse 26. It's a, it's a commandment. It said, the first, hallelujah, the first of the first fruits 
of thy land thou shalt bring unto the house of the Lord thy God. And then he added another commandment, thou shalt not see the kid in his mother's milk. But our emphasis is the first part of it. The first, amen, of the first fruits of thy land. The first of the first fruits of thy land. Thou shalt bring unto the house of the Lord thy God. Le Leviticus chapter 23. Leviticus chapter 23. Verse 9. Amen. It says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, When you be come into the land which I give unto you, when you come, that is when you arrive there, when you arrive there, which I give unto you, and shall reap the harvest thereof, when you arrive there, then you shall bring a sheaf. A sheaf means a handful of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest. He didn't say you should bring all the first fruits. Oh, he didn't say you should bring all the harvest of that year. Oh, he said you should bring a handful of the harvest of that year. That first harvest is your first fruit. But bring a handful of it. Verse eleven. You have to bring it to the priest, and he shall wave the shift before the Lord to be accepted for you on the morrow. After the Sabbath, the priest shall wave it on Sunday. He will wave it before the Lord. And I told you, it is speaking about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Let me not go into that. The important thing there is, if you have to follow it to the letter, then it is a handful, not everything. Let's go again to Leviticus chapter, um, I mean Exodus, sorry, chapter 23. Exodus chapter 23 and one verse there. Amen. He repeated it there. The first of the first fruits of thy land. The first of the first fruits of thy land. Thou shalt bring into the house of the Lord thy God. The first of the first fruits of thy land. Thou shalt bring, praise the Lord. Okay, let's read what it says in Deuteronomy 26. From verse 1. And it shall be, when thou art come in unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance and possesseth it and dwellest therein, that thou shalt take of the first of all, thou shalt take of the first. Of all the fruit of the earth which thou shalt bring of thy land, that the Lord thy God giveth thee, listen very well to this ordinance, and uh, I shall put it in a basket. You are to put it in a basket, so certainly your whole harvest cannot all contain only one basket. So certainly it's not all your harvest for that time you are to bring to the priest. I shall go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose to place his name there. And I shall go unto the priest that shall be in those days and say unto him, there's a prayer that will go with it. I profess this day unto the Lord thy God that I am come into the country which the Lord swore unto my father, our fathers to give to us. And the priest shall take the basket, someone shall basket, his basket, out of thy hand and set it down before the altar of the Lord thy God. And thou shalt speak and say unto the Lord thy God. This is what you should say. A Syrian. And somebody here you will say. A jobless person I was. A frustrated man. No job. The history of your life. Before God bless you with what you are doing now. A Syrian ready to perish was my father. And he went down into Egypt. And sojourned there with a few. And became there a nation great, mighty, and populous. 
And the Egyptians evil entreated us, afflicted us, and laid upon us hard bondage. And when we cried unto the Lord God our Father, of our fathers, the Lord heard our voice and looked on our affliction and on our labor and our oppression. And the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm and with great terribleness and with signs and with wonders. And he, and he had brought us into this place and had given us this, kind, this land, even a land that floweth with milk and honey. And now, behold, I have brought the first fruits of the land which thou, O Lord, hast given me. And thou shalt set it before the Lord thy God and worship before the Lord thy God. This is the ordinance for the first fruits. And listen, church, I say this so that you can, somebody here will be delivered from covetous preachers who know the truth. But they preach the gospel for gain. But the elect of God cannot be deceived. It is paid only once in that job you are doing. In that business you are doing. You can see the prayer that went with it. What you have to do is when you get your job for the first time at any time at all during the year and you get a job your first salary you don't pay tight in your first salary. Your first salary is you don't pay tight, you pay first fruit. How is it? You have to get a part of it any amount that you feel is okay by you and bring it unto the Lord. With a prayer. It may be I was looking for a job for so many years. They take me many years. Yeah? I cried unto you. You answered me. And then you gave me this job. Lord, this is the first salary I am receiving. I have brought your own. This is the first business I am doing. And this is the first money I am making from this business. Get a part of it. No specific amount. You can see, say a basket. I didn't tell her the size of the basket. You have to decide it. Whether a small basket or a big basket, you can carry. But not the whole harvest of the farm. And it's only once. After that, in that very job, as long as you are in that job, as long as you are in that business, it is now only tight you will be paying every day, every time. Anything beyond that, it is 419. Praise the Lord. Don't allow any covetous preacher to 419 you and collect all your money in the month of January. It's nothing like that. Now, 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 this is different. On your own, you can decide to make a vow. Like there's a brother that does it in the one or two of them that do it in this church. They say they have made a vow that their first income every January they give it to God. Now that is a vow. Don't call it first fruit. It is not first fruit. It's a vow. And if you decide to exercise faith that way, nothing wrong with it. But it is not first fruit. Don't, let, let nobody teach it as a doctrine. It is wrong. Praise the Lord.